Well, it's been a while coming, but there's a fast new highway in Northeast Austin starting this weekend. The Mainer Expressway opening tonight. The 6.2 mile toll road running from the west side of Mainer straight through to I-35 just north of downtown. Now, while the Mainer Expressway will connect up that area and make travel a bit faster, not everyone's thrilled about it. Some businesses say they'll take a hit. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis has more on their driving dilemma. Today we're getting our first look at the brand new toll road. Now, while some residents say it's helping them get from point A to point B, some businesses on the frontage road say they're being left out of the equation. Hello, welcome to Waffle House. A diner that never closes its doors, always ready to serve. <laughs> while Willa Randall wears her smile, it's not always easy to put on. My last customer was probably 45 minutes ago. 30, 45 minutes ago. When construction began on Manor Expressway, so did the decline in customers. Um, I don't make as much money because <laughs> I live off my tips. So yeah, when you have a decrease in customers, then you have a decrease in tips. So that, that affects your living. Employees tell me that the Waffle House sign behind me isn't even viewable to drivers on the toll road. People that have been coming here for years thought it was that it was shut down actually because they couldn't they didn't know it was here because of the toll road being put up. Yet some businesses feel the opposite. Brings a lot more customers to our area easier and faster. Makes directions a lot easier out here because I mean this is kind of a, an undeveloped area. And that connecting Austin is a step in the right direction. Any any road or toll road that can help alleviate congestion off 35 is very welcome. Willa says despite the lack of traffic, she'll keep on smiling. We have the best waffles in town, so everybody come and see us. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. Need a bigger sign. Expressway advocates maintain the new toll road will attract many new businesses along the route and create some 2,200 jobs.